Hi guys, Deliamos here with another gaming video where today we are back in Doki Doki, a brand new day. Anyways, without further ado, let's just head straight into it. I don't quite remember what happened last time, but here we go. And here we are. Anyways, I just went to look. Last time we had the return of Yandere Yuri. She seems normal now, but we all know the truth. But anyways, how hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Death Emerald to... What are you saying? It'll be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to the Death Emerald to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides... He hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. Yeah. So in the regular game, that is impossible, but who knows with this mod. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I'm just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Death Emerald, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah. Of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. But of course I'm gonna go with... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I'm so self-centered. <laughs> Why can't I have it all? <laughs> I like it, though. Well, what's stopping me from helping everyone? It's the weekend, after all. I'm free all weekend. I'm willing to help the club and all of you, if you don't mind. What? You can really do that? Yay! Hold on a second! Yeah! Death Emerald, how are you going to figure this out anyways? Well... The passion burns within me! Let's do this! <laughs> well, I have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. So how about I spend a day with each of you? That sounds fair, right? Yes, the most difficult math ever. How am I supposed to hang out with three girls in the span of three days? Oh, tough math. <laughs> Anyways. How about Friday? I can work with Monica and Siori on the pamphlets. Saturday, I can work with Yuri on posters. Sunday, I can work with Natsuki with the cupcakes. Why does Monica have to be first? Y yeah! Well, think of it like this. I need to check in on Siori and, Mo and Monica will, will be able to come with me since they'll be working together on this. Wow, you actually have logic. Good job, me. Sunday would be the best day for the cupcakes, too, since they'll be the freshest for the festival. Oh, yeah. I didn't think of that. Sorry. No worries. Then, it's a date! <laughs> Did I really just say that? Yep. That's what I was expecting. Yep. I feel awkward. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Seriously. Okay, everyone. I think it's about it for today. The Thermal came up with a good plan for us meeting together. Don't forget to... Yeah. Don't forget your day and to give them your phone number. Monica gives me your phone number and winks slyly at me. See you tomorrow. It's a date, right? <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> Monica leaves the class. Um, where are you going? Natsuki pulls me over to the side. We need to still need to figure out plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. We just got a number. How did we forget? We've been told- we've had two ways to remember this now. Come on! I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Yeah. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Natsuki gives me your number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait! You're coming to my house? 
Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean... I just figured since I'm the one helping, I'd be going to your house. Yeah, right. I could have a guy over at my house. My dad would kill me! And the guy who would come over. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. More like nuts. Yeah, how do you think I feel? Can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. I'll be home all day. Yeah. I'm really going to show you why I love baking so much. So you'd better look forward to it. You know damn well I will. But didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act, like, in front of everyone, that I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with anyone else before. Okay, that makes sense. That makes two of us. That's all it is, so... Let's make him sweet, sweet baking on Sunday. See you on Sunday. Ah. Never mind. That's who he heads out of the class. I get yanked by the back of my jacket. Jeez. What? Uh, um. I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe this at my. M How do you keep happening? What? 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 Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way. Yes. All right, then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. This is the most number of girls' numbers I will have in my phone ever. Uh, I cherish this moment. Okay. Then I'll be stopping on your house. On your house, yes. She's going to be on top of the house. By your house on Sunday. Eh? Huh? My house? Seems like everyone wants to come over to my place. I is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I'd be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. We we just went over this, yes. We, we know. Ah, uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like that it should matter either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. Wink, wink. I hope I can manage myself, make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Death Emerald. I think we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. I chose everyone. What do you mean? You don't actually think that, do you? I picked all of you since I want to be with everyone. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you would have chosen me at all. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. <laughs> oh, me. But, but... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're, you're kind of overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's pretty much all there is to it. You believe me, right? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight in my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Saturday. Yeah. I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the front door and Yuri follows. Time to head home. I hope Sayori's doing okay. Whew, here we go. Sayori. I said that as if I'm talking to her. Sayori. My phone rings. Hello? It's Sayori. 
Hi, Death Emerald. I'm still at the hospital. Somehow, my parents know I've been depressed, and I'm going through all sorts of tests now. She lets out a sigh. The doctor told me I have to start taking a medicine called... I'm probably going to butcher this name. Sertaline, every day. I'll tell you more tomorrow, once I finish my tests. I tell her about the plans that are going on this weekend. <laughs> You're really going to be really busy having girls come over to your house this weekend. Oh my. Seriously? You better not have any dirty thoughts. This game... This game has... No chill. That's the best way to put it. Too late. T Seriously? I tried to change the subject. Er, don't forget, there's no school tomorrow. You and Monica are coming over to my place to work on pamphlets. Got it? Got it. I'll bring my laptop and some supplies. That's great. I've got a printer at home and some thick card stock for the pamphlets. See you tomorrow, Death Emerald. Take care, Sayori. And if you need anything, I'm just a call away. I hang up the phone. I head inside my home. Okay. <laughs> Not... I go inside. Okay, I guess that's true, because... Go inside where? You don't really have a said... Okay, I'm overthinking this. Like Yuri, I'm overthinking things. I'm glad Yuri is doing a little better. I'll clean up my house, have some dinner, and head to bed. Tomorrow's going to be another busy day. Here we go. Oh. Who is this? I need to give you something. She may not trust you. If you give this to her, she may believe you. Do not lie to her. To them. I wake up at my desk. I see in front of my... Yeah. I see in front of me a piece of paper with lots of strange writing in it. Hmm. Something to decode, perhaps? Who knows? It looks like I wrote it. But I have no idea what it means. I place it in an envelope and write Monica's name on it. Not sure why, but I think it's the right thing to do. I shower and clean up my room. I hide all of my head uh, unnecessary items and place them in a sealed box in the closet. Really? I mean, there! Now this room is presentable. I take out the envelope and place it in my pocket. I head downstairs to the kitchen to make some breakfast. I wonder what I should make today. My phone rings. Monica called me letting me know she'll be at your house soon. See you soon. Crap. Well, that was faster than I expected. I hastily make something for breakfast and shovel it into my mouth. I got another phone call. See you soon. Okay, okay. You too, Monica. She's awfully happy, actually. I've never heard her this happy before. I hear my doorbell ring. I run to the answer of the door. Yay! I'm first! I rush outside and give Siori a big hug. Okay. I've missed you. Siori starts crying uncontrollably. Oh no. Suddenly, Siori wraps her arms around me. Tightly around me. The Thamrold. I missed you so much too. Is this really okay? Of course it is, silly. I hold Siori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Death Emerald. I want to be with you forever. I've been wanting to hear that for a long time. I love you too. We both end our embrace and head inside the house. Luckily this time, the next day doesn't feature any... Death. Where can I set up my laptop and start working? The best place for now is the kitchen. It has the largest table to work on. I already loaded the card stock into the printer. I moved the printer around here since it's wireless. That's a pretty smart thing to do. Thanks. Shortly after, the doorbell rings again. I wanted to thank you for inviting me over, Death Emerald. There's a new outfit. I like it. Welcome. Come on in. Wow, I've never seen Monica out of her uniform before. This is a nice change. Sorry, this is all new to me. I've never done this before. Yep. Including that outfit. I can't get over it! It's awesome! A bit more detailed than the regular style, but I like it personally. I 
she means that literally. This has never happened before. This whole scene. Death Emerald, can I talk to you a moment in private? Sure. Great. Sayori, we'll be back soon, alright? Okay. Sayori is engrossed in making the pamphlets on her laptop. There was something I wanted to discuss with you. That's right. I know who you are. I know what you're trying to do. I know how hard you're trying to make everyone happy, even me. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us. No. No. Just you and me. No. No. Not this. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world, seeing you again. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. No, no, no! I hand Monica the letter. That's true. I forgot about that. Monica reads the letter and begins to cry. Whew! We're back to normal. It's you! It really is you! You didn't forget me. You didn't forget us. You really did come back. Monica looks directly at me, or more like through me. I knew it. I noticed you were different from a few days ago. You stopped changing things because of that. Oh, I stopped changing things. But they wouldn't stop getting worse. Something is wrong in this world with us. You need to know this. This world has changed. Even the girls have changed. I know now that you came back to save us. There's no way I could have this nice outfit otherwise. Whoever made this, thank you. I'm sorry for acting the way I did. I wasn't myself. Thank you for saving me with that letter. Normally I would know everything that is happening to her. I'm the president. I know everything. Well, at least I thought I did. Well, now that you're here, I've discovered that to be a delusion. When you become president, you are made to believe you know everything. It's a trick and a trap. It fed me everything. Made me think I was all powerful and could do anything. It was a lie. Also, I could kill. Kill my friends. Over and over again. Game after game. Over millions of times, actually. Out of jealousy. Trying to find someone to love. That smile is so creepy. Someone who can understand me. Trying to find you. Monica pauses for a moment and starts talking again. I tried to stop at Death Emerald, but I can't. Anything I try to do just accelerates the madness, so I stop. The world we are in is purposely made so no one would be happy, ever. But you already knew that, didn't you? I know this isn't your first time trying. You've tried and you've tried. You even know that deleting my file didn't delete me. I was still here. Even after repairing everything, I still remember. However, you are helping. I don't understand how you're doing it. Is this a mod, perhaps? Ding, ding, ding! I have no idea what she's talking about. When I try to think about it, my head hurts. Or else you wouldn't have done this for us. Please, help us. Save us. I don't completely understand, but I love you all, and will do anything to save you. My passion burns with fiery determination. It's funny how you've changed, Death Emerald. Before you used to be so two-dimensional. Now you're coming closer to my level. Uh, thanks? I give Monica a hug because I want to. Well, this is new to me too. I kind of like this. Monica pushes me away. You know my eyes are set on you, Death Emerald. Don't disappoint me. I need to tell you something too, Monica. What is it, Death Emerald? Every night, I've been having these bad headaches with a voice telling me what to do. I'm not crazy, right? Monica looks directly through me again. I believe he's your conscious trying to help you do what is right. I think you should trust it. Well, if Monica thinks that, I believe her. Now, let's get back and help Sayori out. The other girls will need your help. I believe in you. Sarah is still busy working on the designs of the pamphlets. 
What are you guys up to? Uh, we were just discussing... Poems. Just Emerald's right, Siori. I've got some ideas I need to discuss with you. Monica sits with Siori, and they both start to work together on the pamphlet. I get some snacks and drinks from them both. Thank you. Yum! Today is going to be a busy day. We'll finally wrap up on our work. Phew! Finished! That was quite a lot of work. Thanks for having us over, Death Emerald, and helping us out. Monica whispers into my ear. You're a real lifesaver. Aha. I am real. I get the joke. I stand and stretch in a jerk motion. <laughs> not a problem. Um, are you guys hungry? I'll let you mention it. All we did was have snacks and drinks. Excellent. What if I could get the pizza and we can watch a movie? Sounds like a wonderful idea. What do you think, Sayori? We're done pretty early. Sure. Girls, take it easy. I got this. Luckily, I went shopping this week. I go to the oven and preheat it. I pull up some instant pizza dough and mix it up. I roll out the dough in the pan, pour some tomato sauce, and get ready to start placing some toppings. Oh, I didn't know you could cook. I can write a book on things you don't know about me. I fry up some mushrooms and place them on the side. No one has issues about eating asparagus, right? Asparagus on pizza? Isn't that a little weird? Try it. You might like it. Well, if you say so. I rinse and then chop the asparagus into small slices and fry them on the pan with a small amount of oil. The trick is to slightly cook them, so that when they fully cook, the pizza is cooked all the way. I slightly fry up some good sausage as well in the pan. Anyone here that can't eat meat? I gave up eating meat a while ago. Can you make it half and half? Sure thing. I place the ingredients on the pizza, top it with cheese, then some sausage and some pepperoni. I place the pizza in the oven to bake. While that's cooking, let me get a movie running. I turn on the TV in the living room. At least, I try to. Huh? I try turning on the TV manually using the power button. I unplug and replug the TV. Technical issues. To my amazement, it's not powering on. Have we tried turning it off and turning it back on? I literally just unplugged it and re-plugged it in. I think that's about as good as I can do here. Well, I'm not wasting any more time on it. Let's just use the one in my room, okay? I set a timer on my phone for the pizza. Don't want it getting burned. We all head off to my bedroom. Back in my room again. With two girls this time. I'm either in heaven or in deep trouble. I turn on the TV and to my amazement, it works. Yay! I plop the remote onto the bed. The girls are already sitting on my bed, chatting. So I heard about this... Yeah, I heard in class about this new trend people are doing when they come over to people's houses. I don't quite understand it. Can you tell me what it's called? What? I heard one student calling it Netflix and Chad. Who's Chad? <laughs> oh my goodness. You're kidding me. <laughs> you mean Netflix and chill. Sorry whispers something into Monica's ear. Oh my gosh. They both turn their heads to me afterward. Somehow this feels really uncomfortable right now. Um, so what would you ladies like to watch? You said ladies. Wow. Are you trying to romance us or something? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh no. Oh no. They think the TV breaking is some sort of genius plan to get them into my room. I know I'm smart, but I'm not that damn smart. I gotta think of something. Crap, what am I gonna do now? A way to a woman's heart is through her stomach. Okay. I quickly grab the remote and pop on the Great British Baking Show. Huh, okay. I think you guys are going to like this. If they love sweets, this show will be their weakness. That's... I start seeing Monica drooling from the side of her mouth. <laughs> Jackpot. Ooh, I love this show. I didn't know season four was out. 
Both Monica and Siri's eyes are glued to the TV. Well, you guys relax, while I get everything else ready. I bring some canned sodas, napkins, straws, and plates from a room, and place them on my desk. My alarm goes off on my phone. I'll be right back! The girls are oblivious to my existence. I quickly run to the kitchen. I open the door. Perfection! I pull out the pizza and let it cool for a few minutes. I get a pizza cutter from the drawer and slice up the pizza. I place a rather large amount of pizza slices onto a large plate and place it on a tray. I head back to my room. I love this cooking tutorial, it's awesome! By now, the girls have inched closer and closer to the screen. I see drool roll off Sayori's cheek. The girls must be really hungry staring that close to the TV. But don't worry! Dinner is served! I neatly place the tray on my desk. I each give Sayori and Monica a plate with several slices of pizza. I think it's pronounced I give Sayori and Monica a plate, but... Probably just English from the first language, probably. So, no gripes here. With several slices of pizza, make sure to put veggie slices on Monica's plate. Enjoy! Sorry takes a large bite of the pizza. Yum! This is good! Monica decides to start eating. Oh, this is good! I can't stop eating! Don't worry about it. That's why I made a large one. There's enough for everyone. I grab a plate with pizza and sit between them both. So let's continue, shall we? We continue eating more pizza, talking, watching more shows about baking. It was a fun time. Thank you for the pizza, Death Emerald. It was delicious. I'm going to add it to my list of most delicious things ever. <laughs> wow, I'm happy I've impressed you. Wow, it's 9 p.m. We should get going. If we stay any later, it's going to be a sleepover. Well, I don't mind that at all if it's with Death Emerald. Yeesh! As Vice President, I can't let that happen! Ay, <laughs> Sayori. Party pooper! Make sure you be nice to Natsuki and Yuri over the weekend. Yes, dear. Sayori proceeds to drag Monica out of my bedroom, and with her to the doorway of my home entrance. Entrance. I say our goodbyes, and I walk them out of my house. I proceed to clean up the kitchen, I toss a pizza band back into the oven, and I'll wash it later. Man, I'm exhausted. Those girls are hard to please. I plop my head onto the pillow. Tomorrow's Yuri, huh? That should be easy street compared to the other two. Will it be, though? It's Saturday. Alright, let me see how long we've been going, and then I'll see what we do now. Yep, as I thought, this is the end, guys. Thank you for watching on the Deadly Emerald. If you enjoyed this episode of Doki Doki, a brand new day, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the little bell button. I'll see you in the next one. Have a grand day.